Today I want to talk about field flatteners and how they're used for astrophotography. First off, what are field flatteners? Well, simply, a field flattener has multiple lenses that are used to counter the field curvature dependency of the focal length of your telescope system. There are now granted, there are plenty of field flatteners to choose from, but depending on what type of scope or focal length that you use to, with your scope will determine the type of flattener that you require. There are some manufacturers that produce flatteners with their dedicated telescopes. Not name dropping or anything, but Williams Optin Optics will say is the main one of them. I would always recommend that if you get the ability or have the ability to acquire uh, said scope with a dedicated field flattener, I would highly recommend getting it. Now, there's nothing wrong with getting just off-brand generics. It's just you may have to struggle a little bit more with the backspacing, but we'll get to that here in a minute. With each flattener, they require at least 55 millimeters of backspacing. Now, what is backspacing, you say? So the camera goes to on this side. So this we'll call this the camera front. So with a camera front lens, so you got a camera here that's facing towards. It has to be from point A to camera sensor, 55 millimeters, plus or minus six millimeters. Again, this will require a lot of patience and practice. It can get very, very frustrating because apparently everybody is under the misconception that if I get 55 millimeters back from the front of this glass, I'm set and I'm ready to go. That's not always the case. I wish it was, it would make things a lot easier, but it just doesn't happen that way. So again, depending on what telescope system you get, there are a number of factor, or manufacturers that develop field flatteners for either long or short focal lengths. Please read the descriptions in the actual item that you decide to get, and they will tell you which, which field flattener will be best for your focal length. The easiest way to tell if you are in the correct backspacing parameter, or basically you're there where you need to be, is to look at the stars in the corners. If you're too close, the stars are trying to literally run away. So your image is nice and perfect in the middle, but once you start looking out towards the corners or trying to get, oh my God, I'm getting away. It's like, holy crap, this is scary. And that's when you're too close. But if you're too far back from the sensor, the stars are gonna do a rotation. The center's gonna look all nice and pretty, but towards the, center, towards the edge, it's gonna be a nice, crazy looking circle. That's when you're too far away from it. Now again, when you know you achieve perfect back focus, all the corners in each of your image will be perfectly round. Now there are some cases to where you may have some tilt, curvature and other issues. I'm not talking about that today. I'm talking about just the flatteners and flatteners alone with telescopes. Now the great thing about flatteners is they have the ability to screw on any type of filter that you want that's two inches. And they have a two inch snoot that can just go into a draw tube. Some people don't like it and some people do. It's very simple and easy for me. Another thing about these sometimes field flatteners is they have the ability to either switch to an M48 size hole or an M42, depending on your camera. Now I know ZWO uses M42 and M48. So just think of it, the bigger the diameter of the hole, the less vignetting issues that you could have, depending on if you're shooting full frame and then you're gonna have vignetting issues if you're using a, this type of system make different types of field flatteners for full frame cameras. But again, concept is basically the same. You're just gonna spend a lot more money. Again, I hope this helps with common misconceptions of field flatteners regarding the general use and the backspacing. It is a slow process, but everyone has to overcome it, especially for beginners. And it is very frustrating. Trust me, I've been there. I've dealt with the situation with other customers. And by the way, if you don't know who I am, I do work with a certain company, I'm not gonna name names, but I help individuals achieve proper focus or backspacing with field flattening. I hope everyone has clear skies and keep looking up. Don't forget to subscribe. Stick around for the next one. Okay.